Yeah. Come a little closer. For a little sh For a little shot. Yep. Lightning flash. Yeah. Urine for a little shot. <laughs> for a little bit. Take this! <laughs> for a little Stay out in the rain for too long. You'll catch a cold. An assassin from our homeland. Or a fool who trespasses upon the waters of Chainsa. Coveting the shapes of the living. 
pure water can take on many forms. In this way, shall water deliver your punishment. The power of water is its ability to take any shape. You're in for a little shock. Yep. <laughs> Urine for a without solid ground, terrestrial creatures become simply helpless. The power of water is its ability to take any shape. Come a little closer. One who is ignorant of water's treasures fails also to comprehend its horrors. Take this! Let's see what happens when you lose your foothold. Let the show begin. The power of water is its ability to take any shape. Come a little closer. You're in for a little shock. As long as rain falls and rivers flow, water will exist forever.
Boba, get the <laughs> lightning clock! You're in for a little shock. Yeah. <sighs> Come a little. Urine for a little shock. Take this! Come a little closer. Urine for a little shock. Closer. You're in for a little shock. Come a little closer. <laughs> Come a little closer. You're in for a little shock.
spark things up a little. Sorry I'm late, Milu. Oh, Dunyarzad. It was taking you so long that I assumed you got trapped at home. But you made it in the end. Uh-oh. But if Dia's here, that means you got caught, right? You could say that, uh, but everything worked out. She's on our side now. <laughs> uh, not completely. Oh, and who are these two? Oh, meet the Traveler and Paimon, my two newest friends. They're visitors who just arrived at Sumera City, and are looking for information on Lesser Lord Kusanali. So your followers from another land? That's wonderful. You two absolutely mustn't miss the Sabzeris Festival. By the way, Dunyarzad, we've already started decorating the Grand Bazaar. It looks spectacular, thanks to your generous contribution. You're very welcome. It's the only thing I could do. Do you still have enough Mora? Uh, probably? But don't sweat it. We've already finished renovating the stage. Come on, I'll show you. Everyone can enjoy. <laughs> Every 
it's so I great about this nation comes with its own anyway. fascinating story. Welcome! Get your spices here. We've got all kinds. I wonder when I'll be as tall as my big sister. with its own fascinating story. Welcome! Get your spices here. We've got all kinds. I've got great food! I'm so great about Snake Night. Wow! Not bad. <laughs> Last time I was here, the stairs were full of holes. The stairs were nothing. A little while ago, we discovered that the tree above the stage had a huge chunk of bark ready to fall off. Mr. Zubair was worried sick. We reported it to the Academia many times, but they never sent anyone to deal with it. We didn't want anything bad happening, so we were going to cancel all the stage performances. Oh, probably because it was the theater asking. The Academia looks down on performers like us. They probably think it would be best if- We can't let that happen, though. Not only would everyone in- Thank the Dendra Archon for doing your Zod. But the more she gave us, we hired someone to patch up the tree, and we all- The stage is going to be- And I can't wait to see you on the stage. <laughs> It's Milu, what are you going to be doing at the- She'll be dancing the dance of Subzeros, the most- Junior Zod, have you told him the- I only told them about the greater- Okay, then I'll tell you t According to legend, the Subzeros a long, long time ago, some of the gods got drunk. One started playing music, and the greater lord started singing, so the goddess of flowers began to dance. As she danced upon the grass, Countless beautiful Padisaras began to bloom wherever she stepped. Those brilliant purple flowers became her dazzling stage. All the gods clamored, Oh, if only time could stop at this very moment. Of course they did. When people mention the gods, they always think of the Archon War. But Sumeru's gods also had happy times. Although they aren't around anymore, they're preserved in our tradition of dance. This outfit I'm wearing is apparently based on how the Goddess of Flowers looked. Though we're just tiny people compared to the Divine, we still have to do our best to make sure that the birthday girl feels loved on her special day. Nilu, you of all people will definitely be able to convey our well wishes to the Dendro Archon. I also noticed that you went the extra mile and scattered Padisaras around the stage. <laughs> They symbolize the Goddess of Flowers, after all. It's just a shame that all the real Padisaras went extinct after her death. Yeah. The Greater Lord brought forth Padisaras in memory of the Goddess of Flowers. But she ultimately could never truly replicate that beautiful purple. Thinking about the Goddess of Flowers dance makes me wish I could have seen it. If my stage were anything like that... Ugh... I'd be thrilled if I had just two real body Saras on the stage. <sighs> All of Lesser Lord Kusanali's. Ooh, Paimon thinks that's a great idea! Hey, come on! <laughs> so, how about we all attend the Sub Zerus Festival together? Junior Zod, everyone at the Grand Bazaar love. In that case, we'll take a. What's with your- Did you know that the Sabzerus Festival- Ah, dance as a child. My grandmother, the Sabzerus Festival. Revamping the state. I don't know much about the Grand Bazaar. Oh, and the perfume sold around here is a lot better than what you. Uh, I mean. <clears throat> F 
Things are really sh Don't be fooled into thinking that's bad when it comes to me. It worked as on the stage, one must act with gumption. Your outfit looks amazing. <laughs> wow. Uh-huh. <laughs> of course. Hey! Is that who Paimon thinks it is? It looks like... Catherine! Adventurous Guild does, but saying and doing the same old things over and over again can. But take you two for example. You travel. Well, we enjoy traveling across to that and all that. Yes. You should keep searching. Huh. Haven't we heard someone say something pretty similar recently? No, not particularly. I guess you could say that I'm loving the recent. It looks All right, we'll see you next time at the Adventures Guild. Oh, by the way, thanks for connecting us with the Aramites. I'm sure you two will get along well with the people here. Hmm. There's something really different about Catherine today. Hey, Traveler. Paimon. Oh, hey, Dia. What's going on? I've got something to tell ya. My lady knows you're looking for ways to meet Lesser Lord Kusanali, and she's been trying to come up with a way- Are you serious? It might not necessarily pan out, so don't get your hopes up too much. I'll need to take you two somewhere and ask someone some questions. Uh, my lady is feeling a little worn out at the moment. Nilu's found a place for her to rest. After I take my lady home- Sounds like a plan! to the Citadel of Rexar and wait for Dia! <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. It took some convincing for the master and mistress to believe that Miss Dunyarzad. Anyway, I guess I should be thanking you. I haven't seen Miss Dunyarzad that happy in a long time. If it wasn't for you two, she probably would have been caught and dragged back much earlier. You sure sound a whole lot nicer than when we first met, Dia. Who would have thought you had such a soft spot for Dunyarzad? It's called being a professional. I'm a bodyguard, and I work for whoever's paying. <laughs> Look, Dia's blushing. Ugh, listen, you two. I don't expect to be working for Miss Dunyarzad very long, but I hope to finish things on a positive note if possible. Let's cut the chit-chat and head into the Citadel. We'll see if the person I know has a way for you two to meet with the Lesser Lord. Oh, 
there, Chief. Ah, <laughs> did ya? What are you doing here? And well, well. <laughs> I take it you all know each other already? Mm-hmm. We met this morning after the Adventurers Guild pointed- No kidding. Huh. So, where's Ruksha? I thought I'd help these two out by asking about the theft. Anything you can- Rukshaw's gone over to the Academia. The Grand Sage recently ordered Sumero City to begin bolstering its defenses, so people from all over have been called back to the city. <clears throat> Since you've already mentioned the theft, I suppose I might as well- Appreciate it, Chief. Uh, theft? Sorry- Just recently, the Academia lost something, and there's a chance the item is connected with the Dendro Archon. This case might just somehow help- <laughs> I suppose that's one way to look at it. But if you ask me... Let me fill you in. The Academia recently sent a convoy to pick up an important package from Aru Village. The Grand Sage took the whole matter very seriously. Not only did he dispatch the Matra, but also enlisted our help in the search for... You two have heard of Port Ormos, haven't you? It's the largest commercial port in all of Sumeru. You can travel there, but the Academia's grip isn't long enough to reach all the way to Port Ormos, so the city's a little more laid back, meaning the population's also- Apparently what was lost has a great deal to do with the Akasha, knowledge, and even the gods. If you're interested, maybe you can head to Port Ormos and ask around yourselves. If you want my advice, Try introducing yourselves as students of the acad- Are you serious, Chief? All the Academia students are in Sumeru City, you know. Why sh- <laughs> If you're also interested. Count me out. I've got plenty of work to do here for the Homoya- And take it from me. If you two really do decide to visit Port Ormos, you'd best watch your backs. Let's just say that the Eremites there aren't nearly as friendly as those here in Sumeru. There are even some extremists who go around shouting slogans like Retake Sumeru for King Deshret. Word is that more- You bet they are. <sighs> King Deshret's been dead for thousands of years. Now they start- Not everyone's like you, Chief. Even the desert natives who abandon their homes in the wilderness still wish to have a god of their own. <sighs> well, Traveler, that's about all the information we have for- Thank since we've gathered all we could for the moment in Sumeru City, let's head to- Miss Dunyarzad is looking forward to seeing you both at the Subzerus Festival, so be sure to get yourselves back here in time for that. Good, then we'll see you both- Closer. Enough. Hi. Nice and spicy. 
<laughs> Come a little closer. on this today. Hey! 
You're in for a little shock. Come a little closer. Lightning flash! You're in for a little shock. What do you think, cutie? Don't disappoint me. Let's go gather some sa- Keep an eye on you. This world... No pain, no gain. <laughs>
You're in for a little shock. Nice and spicy. Come a little closer. Huh? <laughs> You're in for a little shock. Closer. Yeah. <laughs> 